Okay, we're back. I'm ready to do the other side. So again, we're going to use, I've got a bigger bottle of lighter fluid, so that's what we're going to use. We're only going to clean this area where we're going to put these splash guards because I've got another way to clean the rest of the tub and tile. And that's why we're preparing, we're installing these. That's why I left the bathtub area get nice and dirty so you can see how easy this is going to be. Okay. Okay. I have a little bit of tape on it just to hold it in a position so that you can see it a while ago. But again, they're straight. Make sure the long side goes on the inside. Just bend it over and hopefully we can get this started without too much problem. Peel the paper off. Peel the paper back. Just past the corner. I'm going to hold that up there like that. And again, this one is just on the outside of this crack. They should line up perfectly. So again, we want to fold them over so that we can get right into there where the grout touches. We're going to lower this down and we're going to curve it in a little bit. Just like, just like that. Put some pressure on it. Just like that. And then we're going to come up. We don't even have to come straight up. We could have come up at an angle if we if we have wanted to. There we are. That's what we want. So there, you see it's got a little flare on it right there. And down at the bottom, it's, it curves in toward the tub a little bit more. And the same here. Now, you're going to notice there's a little bit of gap right there. You don't have to worry about that because the whole idea is the water is going to fall over here and not it's not going to come back this way unless it's, you've got a really severe slope. So there we are. So we got our, our arcs. So this is all in preparation for our next project, which is going to be to clean the bathtub out.